Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video we're working on this professional King Bowling K8 Pro um, diagnostic tool. Beginners can also use it. We'll go through it step at a time and break everything down. First is the boxing which I really like. Very handy. Not the heaviest thing on the planet. And you've got these two locks in here which make sure that it doesn't open and for it to open or damage any components. Inside we have the beautiful King Bowling K8 Pro. Go through the machine in a second, but here in the box you've got all these. Um, you've got this that connects directly from the car to the diagnostic machine. Again, you've got other OBD connections as well, and that's for coding bits and bobs there. The Ethernet cable, and you've got the manual in there. So, in itself has the OBD uh, port here. Uh, so, it's magnetic, which is good as you can see. So, let's have a look. Kaboom! And again. Oh, didn't do it. There you go. It's pretty nice and solid. Anyways, you've got this lovely camera, which you can scan QR codes and whatnot. And what I love about is this here, which hooks onto the steering wheel, which should really be a must for most diagnostic machines, but I don't know why they don't do it. And at the top, guys, you've got Type-C and you've got the USB, and this is direct for the uh, port OBD into the vehicle itself. And before we start, guys, Let's just talk about the advantage of this. It's free lifetime update. So there's nothing to do after you've bought it, enjoy it, that's it, done, dusted. And the pricing for this as well, it's only around 500 pounds. So it's not expensive at all comparing this to other manufacturers. And I will go through everything step at a time so you know what the capability is. And I'll put the link in below so you guys can grab one. It's plugged in, you've got this blue LED light which shows it's all connected. And on here, we're gonna hold on to it for a few seconds. The vehicle we're in guys, is a BMW X4 2015 model, which is the F series, all connected up, everything works. And we have this sort of menu here. Um, long story short, we'll hit the intelligent diagnosis. So whether you're a professional or a beginner, believe you or me, it's pretty dead straightforward. It's gonna pick the VIN chassis up like this, so it's good for car salespeople or for anyone else so it's picked the VIN chassis up it's telling us a BMW X4 X drive so we'll hit diagnosis here we have also broken down in terms of mileage it tells you what the accurate mileage is um, bill and the engine type so we'll hit next okay so it's going to turn the engine and ignition off it does it automatically without even me doing anything and it's going to turn the ignition on again in a second. There you go, guys. It is pretty smooth. Once you're back on the page, we've got all these options. We're going to do a full scan. So for all the beginners, if you want to find a dag, well, find the fault that is coming up on your vehicles uh, within the engine control module or the ABS. So for example, this one comes up intermittent DPF issue. And as you can see, we have this. And it comes up on there with DPF issue and engine management light at times. So it's so easy. We've got it as a breakdown like this. And we can go into it as well. Again, telling us the last update that this car's had. So in terms of programming functions, you can do this. Clear fault code. So we'll turn the engine off. Ignition on. Clear fault code. Done. If we read fault code, we shouldn't have any fault codes left there as well, guys. And what's amazing as well, we can do a full live data. So here we are. If we do the suit, suit mass bar, da, 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 um, hit OK. It tells us the DPF, um, which is a lot like there, to be fair. It should be a lot less, which we'll do a DPF region at a later stage. But it tells us like live data. Um, let's see what else we can do. Um, select all, OK. Okay, so unselect, we'll just select a few of these air mass, target voltage. So these is just a few examples. You can see what it shows, and you can do imperial, metric, and go through it, guys. It's pretty damn good. The live data is really good when it comes to the mechanic world, whether you're a beginner or a pro. It's good for both parties. Situation test as well, guys, is the fan. We can hit it. So here within the fan section, if we activate it, guys, you'll see it spin round. There's many components that we can turn, activate and unactivate. In other words, we've got a lot more functions. For example, hazard warning lights. So we've got the vehicle here, as we can see. 
and what we're going to do is activate it there we go activation on the front these here and going around the back guys you can clearly see what it's so going to do the low beam headlights there you go turned on with a click of a button see there's a hell loads more power window function as well if we do this funk driver activate there you go no one's touched it and then if we go on power window passenger uh driver close if i hit activate are you ready guys there you go no one's touched it and it goes all the way up as well guys if you were doing a full scan and clear you'd hit clear dtc no fault codes obviously there's nothing stored but you'd hit that within seconds it'll clear all the fault codes coming back out of this guys we've got all these other functions so system selection is the same as the health report but individually and that'll be the same special functions is where you'll need it most whether you're a beginner or a pro here we go guys so you've got all these which i'm just going to go through and it's amazing to see you've got all these options so for example what we're going to do say the vehicles are had an egr we will hit this and this way it is going to code it into the vehicle so it's telling what to do okay start activation boom it's so easy it really is common sense there's nothing difficult about it it's literally as you go pretty dead straightforward continue and let's end it but that's how it is you've got many different components in there that you can you know if you've changed within the engine you can do it injectors coming out of that guys you've got the chassis so for example if you've actually changed the steering rack or the steering angle sensor in here which is common in bms then you can code it in and pair it up maintenance like this vehicle so if we turn the vehicle on guys let's see if we get it we get a warning there we go so service due since five thousand miles we're going to reset that guys and and to show you as well if we go on this vehicle information and vehicle status go into service requirements you can see these need resetting and the cars had a service so we're going to show you how you can reset it using this machine as we said get into that option and then we're going to go into the so here we have guys are the options as you can see so f1 here if we hit OK, engine oil, 5,000. It's currently in the reset mode. And we'll just kind of keep concentrating on that. So it's now moved on because I've just hit yes. So apparently it has performed it. There you go, done 19,000 miles. It's as smooth as that. Sometimes, don't be fooled, it might not work and you think, well, I've just done it. What you have to do is turn the car on and off. But luckily this time, it's just done it without any issues. So guys, you've got the driver assistance, you know, if it's got a radar, uh, adaptive cruise control and whatnot, you can recalibrate all these, especially when you've had an accident, these sort of cars, you can calibrate it. Battery, if you've changed the battery, you've got to remember on these new cars, it will not do this start and stop so the start and stop will not work if you change the battery so you'll need to pair it up and then it'll work so back into coding and programming guys you've got all these options um we'll go into personalization and i'll show you some of the some of the well, some of the hidden features that this can uh, offer us these are the hidden features this is uh within the one of the modules as you can see we can do high beam auto turn light and disabled obviously you can enable any of these guys as long as the car has the function and capability of doing it then it will be enabled and if you come back out of this obviously i always recommend that you actually back it up and then do these things so i have enabled this this is within the zgm option so enabling so show engine power and torque i've enabled it so before it didn't have it now if you have a bm and you want to kind of check your let's see if it comes up so sport display that's it there so if we turn it on there you go and if we rev you see how it comes up now guys so i have enabled it within the zgm there's many other functions that you can enable and disable 
um, but I'm just going to go through it so you know what the capability of this machine is. It is pretty damn good. Some of the other machines, guys, doesn't bring it up in this sort of format. It comes up as numbers. So this will just be number. It's very, very difficult to work on. However, this one's very easy. And look at all these guys. This is the head unit. So the navigation, how you want it to come up. Video recorder. Um, I've done it on Mercedes as well. So with Mercedes, I've realized when you drive the car off, especially in the S-Class and the top spec ones, that screen, if it's playing YouTube, it'll stop. The driver cannot see it and it'll just stop. I do enable it using this by by continuous um, driving so that the screen doesn't shut off. It's for safety reasons, but yep. So back onto our thing, Wi-Fi enable, disable, I don't know guys, this is just well loaded in terms of... Uh, anyways, back out of this guys. But there are many other hidden features within these as well guys. Coming back out, coding, if you've changed the component within the vehicle, you can do it. Retrofit, um, again, it's like your if you've put some M calipers on there, um, suspensions, you can retrofit it this way. I'm gonna not go, well, I'm not gonna go through it, but I'm just guiding you guys. Retrofit, guys, as you can see, tells us what this car is equipped with. Um, I'm not gonna do anything, but you can change from run flat tires to normal tires. You can do anything you want. This is a damn good diagnostic machine, guys. It's unbeatable so far, and the pricing is mega, mega good compared to others. And on the homepage, guys, it's so dead straightforward. As I said, whether you're a pro or a beginner, you've got everything. You do not need to read. You could just see the images and you know exactly what it's talking about. But as we can see, guys, it's got a lot of capabilities. And it's amazing that you can email things across. You can send a report. You can, I don't know, download it, print it, whatever you want to do. It's, everything's there. There's nothing missing in this sense. Um, repairing for as well so if you get stuck obviously connect it to the Wi-Fi it'll guide you through everything which is really a no-brainer guys I'll put the link in below so you guys can grab one um, in my opinion it's worth every penny uh, as I said it's free lifetime update so it's a no-brainer and the price is only around 500 pounds ish so reality is like for like on other manufacturers you'd be talking 800 a grand maybe more I'm on if we're talking snap on an hotel then guess what it's 13 1400 all day but this is cheaper 500 so it's a professional diagnostic machine but beginners can use it as well